Welcome to a recap of today's live code hangout. In today's session, we've been working on some open source modifications for the MindTest game. MindTest is an open source voxel game engine, similar to Minecraft, fully open and fairly mod friendly. In fact, most everything you see in the game is the result of mods. Even the core game itself no longer ships <laughs> with the mind test engine. So you have to install mods just to play something. It's a bit confusing getting started, but once you do, or once you join a server, it, it's pretty amazing what, what players are doing with some of these mods. Now our goal is to publish some modifications that help teachers and parents and children to learn. These are educational mods. One of the first and most important intelligences we can build is emotional intelligence. So our first mod here is a way of discussing and sort of externalizing emotions, identifying them and having some kind of a, a token of these emotions that can foster awareness and facilitate conversation. We call it mind test emotions and Resende Tech, my collaborator here, has created these charming graphics. We've published this on the Mind Test Content DB, and it may have already been downloaded a few times. I don't know how, how do I get to the statistics for it. So the source code is on GitHub. Here, if you'd like to check it out, GitHub.com/OpenLearningQuest and the Mind Test Emotions Repository. Today's session was fairly simple. Uh, we have a basic readme describing the project, but I'd like to give a little bit more context about the purpose of this particular mod and maybe the broad scope of what we're trying to achieve as we figure that out with these educational mods in general. Also, we wanna encourage people to participate. So as any, uh, open source maintainer knows you've got to have documentation It's very important and a contributing guide helps and so we've got a basic contributing guide today and talking about how to share your ideas and submit bug reports and things like that to this particular project and I think I think we're gonna have multiple projects so there will be some boilerplate but we also added uh, an improved readme that describes the educational goals of this particular mod and how it can be used in a classroom environment to foster emotional intelligence, empathy, self-expression among players. It's designed to help children and adults alike in recognizing and understanding different emotions, promoting a healthy approach to emotional processing and expression. Some more details about how it'll, uh, <laughs> if it aligns with curriculum, which a lot of the curriculum I think is focusing on science, technology, engineering, and math, which are almost like uh, dehumanizing arts, yet very important. So we're trying to uh, instill some the values of like being human back into the educational process, being creative, being artistic, uh, feeling emotions. You know that is natural. Those are important visitors. We have to be intelligent about our emotions, just like we need to learn math. In fact, honestly, I think the emotional intelligence is probably more important and useful in daily living than a lot of the theoretical math that we learn, algebra and things like that. So why, why isn't it in our curriculum? Maybe it is. Some places are probably teaching it. Well, here's a tool you can use in your classroom or home or perhaps like a, a therapy session, like art therapy was mentioned here as well. There's a lot of ways that these games can be useful tools you know, helping us with creativity and relaxation, among other pursuits. So what we want to do is build some mods to help the games give the player something back. They don't just take the player's time and money and things like that. Yeah, so that's about it. Created this readme here. So I've got this pull request open. And part of the learning process here means we're also learning how to collaborate, how to write software. You know, contribute to open source software. So 
reviewing other people's code and contributions is an integral part of uh, any software project typically, unless you're a solo dev, there are solo game devs. So I've asked for Resende Tech to review this here. We're also learning how GitHub works, things like that. The second thing we achieved today, with the help of ChatGPT, I should say, I've fleshed out the ideas and the intention and ChatGPT has helped me kind of really make them more uh, fully fledged. The mod currently has some kind of primitive emotions. We've got anger, happiness, sadness, and ooh, shiny, and oh, here's shiny og. So we don't have the names for those, but uh, nonetheless, they're pretty, you know, creative. There's the og, and that's ooh, shiny. This artwork was done by Risen Day Tech. Really charming. Uh, fits the game aesthetic very well. And taking it to the next level, so to speak, uh, making sure it's more comprehensive at least, and also understandable for children and adults. Uh, we want to have a framework. We want to choose from an existing uh, psychological framework uh, describing emotions. There's been a lot of thought and theory, I'm sure, in this area. It's not my background, so we're going to do a little bit of research here looking for psychological frameworks for classifying emotions. And then we'll just use this as the basis of making sure we've got a block for all the core emotions and then maybe some more advanced things such as, can you make more complex emotions by combining primitive ones? This is a crafting game after all. Can we craft emotions or, or decompose or reverse engineer more complex emotions into their fundamental <laughs> states. I don't know. We'll, we'll see where it goes. But uh, so we've got a few um, emotional frameworks here to research, for starters, and some kind of like, that are pretty theoretical and abstract. That one of the main goals is this should be uh, uh, sorry easy, relevant and easy <laughs> to relate to, relatable. Uh, for uh, kids, <laughs> this is ChatGPT. Sorry, it's like if it's using like the grammar and things is more uh, could be easier to understand. But we wanted this to be to be easy for kids. Yeah, so maybe I could even look at how we're writing our issues and stuff like that. But again, <laughs> generated. So sorry, it's like my proofreading, but it's the it, it is accurate, and it did capture that intention. So yeah, it's a little bit of a research task. Now it's open or on GitHub, open learning quest, mind test emotions, issue number two. It's an enhancement. It's gonna put us on a better foundation. It's a good first issue because it's kind of just research and seeing what's out there. You don't have to write any code or anything, but bring back what your thoughts are. So it's welcome and we do appreciate help. So if you're interested in contributing to our uh, fledgling open educational game, stop on by. All right. Well, thanks for your time checking out the uh, video or stream. I hope you're doing well and 